Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a smart pet planter with Adafruit's Pi Portal. In this project, when you water your plants, the water level animates on the Pi Portal's touchscreen. Using Adafruit IO, you can make a custom dashboard and visually chart your data with graphs. This uses the Adafruit Stemma soil sensor to measure the temperature and moisture. We're plotting the moisture and temperature data so we can see the values change over time. The data is published to your Adafruit I.O. feeds so you can access it on any device with internet. You can set up custom triggers so you'll be notified whenever the values are too high or low. Feed me! Our setup publishes data to our feed every minute, but you can easily adjust it to any interval. With the Stemma port on the Pi Portal, we can simply plug in the soil sensor. The code for this project was written by Brent Rubel in CircuitPython. The Pi Portal library handles the Wi-Fi connectivity and data publishing using the ESP32. The sensor data can be displayed over a serial console like the REPL window in the Moo editor. With the SnapFit design, it's easy to take apart so you can always get to the electronics. The sensor is mounted to the planter so the tip stays on the inside and the components are on the outside. This keeps the sensor hidden inside and the components away from any water or dirt. Using 3D models of the electronics, we designed the enclosure to look like our retro cases. We wanted to easily modify this to fit different components, so we designed it as a parametric assembly. Like most of our designs, we made it so that you can print it without any support material. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. The planter cup is press fitted into the frame and a drip tray snap fits onto the bottom. The soil sensor is secured to a plate and mounted to the planter cup with screws. The stemma cable plugs directly into the port on the back of the Pi portal. This mini speaker is fitted into the case and will amplify the sound so the alerts are much louder. The screen cover and face plate snap fit onto the case by press fitting them together. And there you have it, the build is now ready for potting some plants. We found these Venus flytraps at our local hardware store. They're pretty needy plants that should only be watered with rainwater or distilled water. They're fairly small and they should fit nicely within the size of our planter. Unlike normal plants, flytraps prefer sphagnum moss over common soil because they're native to subtropical wetlands. We had to transplant this out of the store-bought planter, so we made sure to be careful. We've been caring for pitcher plants for several years now, so we had some spare moss to fill up the bottom of the planter. We were surprised to find these because they're in really good condition. Since these plants basically live in water, you really can't overwater them, so you'll need to test your own sensor readings with your plant. The water level animation is dependent on the minimum and maximum moisture values that we set up in the code. Feed me now! To keep water from overflowing, we made the drip tray deep enough to collect any excess water. The soil sensor readings fluctuate slightly, but average out over time, so you'll need to adjust them to fit your project. We hope this inspires you to check out the Pi Portal so you can build IoT projects with CircuitPython. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.